All right, here we are with the unboxing of the Super Team Carbon Clenchers. Uh, we got Super Joe, which is our bike mechanic here. Uh, he's a little skeptical about them, so I figured we'd do the unboxing here, and then he could take a look at them and determine what he thinks they, are, how they are, you know, put together and designed, and uh, then we'll do a little I'm not review riding. update later. Yeah, he said he's not gonna ride them. He's scared. So we'll open them up, see how they look, and then get them on the bike. So we got for parts. Got some quick releases. Brake pads. Two big centers. Let's go. All right. How's the packaging compared to other wheels that you get? Like good wheels? These are actually packaged pretty well. Um, a lot of wheels we get. Packaged pretty similar, just without the extra padding here. These are what, 23 wide? 23 wide, yep. 50 millimeters deep. Okay. So the only thing firsthand is the the shape of them is still a little more of a V shape instead of a rounded U U shape, um, which a lot of companies are going to. Well, and they're, on the, they're they're supposed to also have some U. It didn't give me the option. Um, So just uh, probably be fighting a little bit of the crosswinds a little bit more because of the V shape. And since it's not a U shape, you might feel a little more crosswinds happening, pushing you to the side. Spokes on these, I really don't know what the brand is. Looks like they have an M. The hub looks like your standard Chinese hub. I mean, it's a. It says what is on there is like a R three thousand or R something another. It said it online. I forgot what it was exactly. The brake track on here looks pretty good though. It's not like glassed over. It's uh, it has a little bit of a rough uh, That's a feel to ba it. Basalt. Mm -hmm. I think is what it's supposed to be. The reason we only went 23 is because this Orbea can't take like a 25 or even 28 uh, with rim. Uh, probably have some uh, wheel rubbing if we did that. So. Sounds pretty good. Are, now, are those louder than normal? You know, some people complained that they were a little loud. Yeah, they're probably going to be a little louder. Um, which, you, at first, when you start riding them, you hear it, but you eventually just kind of forget about it. Um, okay. I kind of like it, especially if you're in uh, people places you like what we have here at Big Dam Bridge, trying to ride with a bunch of pedestrians on the bridge. You can just put in coast mode and they'll kind of hear you coming. Sort of like um, people getting exhaust louder on their motorcycles. Right. <laughs> oh, I think I broke it. Better not. Front looks also pretty good. We're definitely going to want to set uh, a little warning here just to put the brake pads a little below the edge there. You put it too high, you can, you know, cause uh, you to rub your tire or um, just a little bit too high where it'll, if it gets too hot, it can probably start swelling out. Um, not right, and that was uh, some of the stuff that I read is people, uh, theirs would get hot, but a lot of people said, they most likely didn't have it on their brake braking line or whatever at the right spot. Their brakes in the right spot. Yeah, 
Yeah, you definitely want to set them as low as you can on the rim, uh, your brake pads. So not too bad. I don't have a scale to, to weigh them. I don't know what they weighed. Uh, they said to weigh them. Weight on line. They're supposed to be fifteen sixty five. I guess for and that's for both without the skewers. Right. Okay. That's not bad for a fifty millimeter depth wheel. So. Here, I want to feel how, because I haven't, oh wow, that's a lot lighter than my factory here. You can see? You want to be in the video? All right. So we'll go ahead and throw them on there, and um, we'll come back with how it looks, and if they're looking true and everything. So I'm going to pause the video. We'll be back. Okay, so we got the wheels installed, made the bike look a lot better. Um, we have Joe, that, so you wanna tell him a little bit about what you thought of it and the yeah, trim? Uh, so the wheels did come with the 10 speed uh, cassette spacer, which we had to use on this bike. Um, you know, the ex we did run into an issue though, the extenders that they send with it, uh, one of them was cracked. Um, so we weren't able to use this. Good thing we had an extra tube, long enough valve in it to, to work. Um, but really now it's just getting out there, riding the bike, and uh, just seeing how the wheels perform. So. so what do you think about the sound? You know, to spin the... <clears throat> to me, the, the sound is fine. Some people that like quieter wheels might not be the best. Um, you know, if I wanted to, though, I can go ahead and take apart the free hub body and actually uh, put a little grease inside the free hub body where the paws are to quiet it down. But, you know, we're going to leave it alone right now. So, Well, very cool. That's it with the new Super Team wheels. We'll give it a try out. Um, after about 500 miles or so, I'll do another uh, review, see how they're still uh, holding up. Thanks, Super Joe. Thank you.